Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi concluded his France visit on Friday. And not so long ago, Prime Minister Modi was in the United States of America for his first state visit. Both the visits garnered headlines for India's growing ties with the West. The trips led to major announcement on defence deals as well. During the France visit, defence cooperation projects included joint development of jet and helicopter engines along with the construction of three Scorpion submarines for the Indian Navy under the Indian Multi-Role Helicopter Programme. An agreement has also been inked between France's Safran helicopter engine and India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. This is an important agreement as it entails transfer of technology of forging and castings for the Shakti engine. The deal proposes that 110 kilo Newton engine will be fully made in India. It is a major boost for Make in India program. The government project which aims to build best in class manufacturing infrastructure in the country. You see, when the Indian Prime Minister was in Washington last month, agreements in defense cooperation, critical and emerging technology were also announced. But there lies some difference between the two under an agreement with India's HAL, United States GE Aerospace, agreed to transfer 80% of the technology to produce F-414 fighter jet engine for Indian Air Force. But there was no transfer of technology offered during a laser drilling technology for combustor. Now, only few countries like the US, Russia, UK and France possess such specialized technologies to manufacture engine for combat aircraft. On the other hand, the deal with France's jet engine maker promises 100% technology transfer. A technology transfer is considered successful if the receiving entity can successfully use and eventually integrate the transfer technology with or without customization. A 100% technology transfer is always preferred to reduce dependency factor and given the dynamic nature of equations in global politics, as when ties between countries go south, you don't want to be dependent the country for technology know-how. For more on this, we were earlier joined by Lieutenant General Raj Kadyan, former Deputy Chief of Army from New Delhi. Take a look at what he had to say on this. Yeah, considering India's strategic environment and the long land and sea borders, India needs to upgrade its military capability tremendously. The one thing that is India lacks, we have a Make in India program, but as far as the Air Force is concerned, we lack the technology to make jet engines. In the world, only four countries have this technology, US, Russia, UK, and France. Even China does not have it. So India, being a big market, most of the Western world is also interested in giving their technology in India. Our prime minister visited US last month and France just two days ago. There is no official confirmation, but it is generally understood that while the U.S. has agreed to transfer 80% technology to India for the manufacture of jet engines, 144, in India, but France is agreeing to transfer 100%. As it is, we are getting, making helicopter engines in collaboration with Safran of France for a multi-role helicopter. So, it is already a continuing process. India will take the best pick. India has a market, the West needs a market. So I think if France agrees, if this news is correct, that France is giving us 100% technology to make the jet engines, then we will uh, score a march even on China, which is militarily very highly developed. So that's in our interest. The official version has not come, but this is the news. Even the French ambassador to India former, has given this information that 100% technology transfer will be made.